Well, here we are. We're back at the Nine Club. And today, oh my God, listen, we got a very special guest sitting in the hot seat, you know? It's a first for us here at the Nine Club. We got Nora Vasconcelos. Did you say it right? <laughs> he made the Portuguese proud. <laughs> first female on the Nine Club. How do you, how do you feel about that, Nora? Is that, uh, are you uh, stoked? I, just, I need to let it sink in. Okay, you take your time. Next to Nora, we got Raj, of course. And over in the corner, we got uh, Kelly over there. Everything good? Did you well, you went and skated Pedlo today? Is what you said right? <laughs> yeah. Why do you laugh? I don't know. Why are you I laughing? Don't know. You know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm wicked weird. Okay. Um, yeah, I went to Pedlo today for okay, the first nice, time. Nice. It was really fun. It's definitely one of those parks. It's like everything looks a certain way before you go skate it. Right. It's right. really fun though. Okay. But have you done any podcasts like this before? I is have, this your first? This is uh, my first official okay, podcast. Okay. Are you nervous at all? No. Or? I'm okay. excited. Okay, good, good, good. I like talking. I do. Do you really? I do. Okay, yeah. perfect. So just tell perfect. me to shut up. Chris likes talking Listen, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. I do. No, so uh, you grew up in Massachusetts. Is that right? Yes. Okay, where yeah. in Massachusetts um, are you from? Southeastern, so right in between Boston and Cape Cod. It's a town okay. called Pembroke. Have you heard of that, Raj? Yeah, it's right yeah. next to Duxbury. Yes, oh. Deluxebury, Pembroke. Okay. Yeah, that's us right there. Plymouth. Plymouth County. Yeah. There's a Plymouth Rock you can go. That's not the Pl Plymouth Rock, is it? The Plymouth is Rock. That, that, that's the it's Plymouth there. Rock that you hear about? That's, that's what you hear where about it is. In the history oh. books. Have you been there? I have many, many yeah. times. Okay. I'm confused. I don't remember what Plymouth Rock was. Oh, it's Kelly. a rock. Yeah. It's a rock. Okay. Yeah. But, why is, but why is it historic again? I don't even know. I think it's more of like a monument that it's is... It's where the pilgrims landed. Yeah. Oh. No, it's not. But is it? Well, yeah, right. but technically, no. no. Like, they technically hit this little island called Clark's Island. Okay. Plymouth Rock is literally could fit on this table. Oh, are yeah. you serious? It's locked up in like this little cage. <laughs> oh, like it's, oh, it's locked up. Fills with water up. as the tide goes in and out. No way, really. But I was wondering, like, they should do a Nicolas Cage movie where he tries to steal, steal Plymouth, Plymouth Rock. Steal Plymouth Rock, right. <laughs> Right. Like, I right. would see it. I'd watch yeah. it for sure. Or Raj can try to go steal it. Mm. You know, bring it here. We can put it in the background. We can, yeah. Maybe we can make it into a new table. There you go. Well, I like this table. It could be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, so you grew, grew up over there in, in uh, Mass. I was gonna say Boston, but in Massachusetts, did you like start skating out there, or like how did you like what was it, like what got you into yeah, skating? What, what, right, what got you into skating? It's bizarre because ever since I was little, I can remember being really infatuated by it. Oh, really? But it was more or less like when did I actually start doing it? Because I didn't really skateboard it until I was like in middle school. Okay. You surfed before you skated, though, right? Yeah, I was yeah. really into surfing for Middle a while. school, so you were probably... I was like 12. 12, yeah. okay. And I surfed a bit before that, but when I was probably like five or six, me and my cousin would get up early and we'd go watch Rocket Power from Nickelodeon. Okay, we'd just right. go to his basement. We'd steal every cereal we could steal <laughs> from... We just made a mess. And Were you high? Or yes. Were you <laughs> we were stoned <laughs> out of our minds okay, okay. in our nightgowns <laughs> and slippers. But yeah, we would... Just watch Rocket Power, and I really? was super. I think I was just really infatuated with like Reggie Rocket. I okay. was like, No, this is a cartoon. This is a cartoon. Okay. Reggie's like the only girl. She had purple hair. Okay. Um, okay. I'm starting to feel <laughs> creepy, yeah. but okay. just so you're not the only one. <laughs> Taking it back to my roots. Um. Okay. Yeah, and she was just like kind of the ringleader of all these like little guys and they would all like Ooh. skate and surf and bmx and okay. mountain bike like they yeah, were just but the skating gr grabbed your attention oh yeah i was like, oh, like skateboarding that? okay we have like my first like getting my first skateboard for christmas we have it on video and it's just super bizarre because i'm just like skateboard and i'm like freaking out <laughs> and yeah i didn't we were in the country we was it like a, a board? oh yeah or, yeah okay. it was like a hobie cat board uh, and it had plastic trucks it was probably like a toys r us okay special okay. i mean i think that's what everybody gets for yeah oh board. Totally. You know, yeah, like, yeah yeah i thought i didn't know what grip tape was at the time right. and i ripped it off oh you were like what is this I was Black like, shit somebody, on here. I was like, somebody spilt tar <laughs> right. on my skateboard. Yeah. How'd you get, uh, get it off? Did you just peeling it off? We didn't have a driveway or, or, or uh, even like sidewalks, and we had this barn I'd go skate in. Oh. And at one point, I, I think I just went to go skateboard, and I was like, what is this shit on <laughs> right. my board? Right. 
evenly placed on this board. What yeah. is this? And I, I literally just went into the uh, garage and I took like any tool I could find and I just took an afternoon. Oh, scraped it off. Okay. It's probably like eight at the time. Yeah. Made sense. So you didn't have any like sidewalks or nothing? You just were in no, the barn? No, we had the barn okay. and we had my neighbor Craig, who's a couple years older. Mm -hmm. He was like my brother and I was like adopted older brother and we would just go hang out with him and we were really into BMX and mountain biking okay. like we had trails and right. stuff but he had a basketball court and so we would just you know tool okay. around on that now did you know what like tricks were or you were just kind of pushing around and like I knew what did you whatever I saw from like X games whatever Reggie was doing and whatever Reggie was doing <laughs> right, so like right. I knew what the 900 was because they oh, like yeah. talk about that okay on the show oh. and I knew did like Reggie what an ever Ollie do a 900 no no her, okay so wow. her brother did but really? he didn't like do it properly like he had they had like a vert ramp in their yard mm -hmm. and he like he was trying it and like the neighbor this is literally like the plot of a cartoon but mm -hmm. the neighbor is pushing a lawnmower and shoots like a a toy ball into their yard and it like gives him an extra rotation okay <laughs> wow no so he does a 900 wow so you're tooling around in the driveway and the basketball courts and stuff like when did you really like realize like oh wow i can ollie or i can do tricks and you know, know when did you get that going like did you uh by middle school and early high school mm -hmm. <clears throat> i would go to the skate park because okay. my dad was like hey there's girls skate free on wednesday nights perfect at Which skaters, park was it? skater's edge oh, in skater's taunton edge. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's so you, a good park, mm -hmm. but the hiccup was um, this is Brandon Westgate, Anthony Shetler, Nick Don Pierre's local park, okay. and so they're there every night, like going off, right. like skating really good. Right, and I'm like, right. but you're a little kid though. It's just uh, yeah, it's not but like I'm a, also just like I like, I was in awe of it, and right. I was just scared out of my mind. Like I'm not gonna try to skate the pyramid. Like I just went to the bowl. Uh, and I was like, just skate by myself. Okay. Yeah. No one was skating the bowl back then? No, there were some like older guys that would oh, skate yeah. it and that were really cool. But I think my dad's whole idea was, oh, we're like Tuesday nights, girls skate free. I'll drive you like 45 minutes to this park mm -hmm. and we'll and you find another girl to skate. We're like, you'll make oh, yeah. friends. Right. And it was just like, nah. But that was fine. Day. Like for me, I yeah. didn't care. Right. Like I was going to go do it in my barn by myself. Totally. Like yeah. it's a, for me, it was like very solitary. Okay. Okay. So I don't know when the Ollies and stuff were really even But, but your parents were supportive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you have any other brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have a younger brother, Davis. Does he's, he skate? Uh, he's 20. He could. He picked up skating and like within a month could like drop an vert ramp really? and do a blunt fakie and do no a kickflip. Yeah, it sucks. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I bet. Dude, it's like really. <laughs> He's super good. He like he could inline blade really good. He could be a mech super good. Like we go. I feel like I can inline blade pretty good. You know, if I really tried, <laughs> I, I, I feel he, like I could like, like walking with wheels. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I could do some shit. Yeah. You know, not that I would. I just feel. Yeah. No. Yeah. He's super naturally gifted at like whatever he does it's okay well enough about your brother <laughs> let's get back let's get back on but no you. yeah he's super talented he was super good at anything he did so mm -hmm. he was into it but yeah. uh it was my thing yeah he doesn't right. like to do what i do okay so then you you, you discovered the skate park and mm -hmm. you know all the guys you were too scared to go in the street section so mm -hmm. you were you formed into a bowl skater pools and stuff yeah. right you just uh, you were, i was just in my own world but you were drawn to that too right yeah the, totally the well thing, i think that's you know? like surfing you know yeah for yeah. me that was all the same right, stuff right, right, and it, right. it was kind of like i was really into the surfing and i i think there was part of me that's like i want to be a pro surfer and, and i do mm -hmm. contests and stuff but at that point it was like you had to be spending half the year in puerto rico or like on a boat in the middle of the well, ocean say, like you had of, to have money is there yeah. a lot of good waves in uh, massachusetts super good waves really? in massachusetts, but it's like not it's not reliable i feel like the east coast isn't known for like no because it's a surfing. hassle and yeah. it's cold oh, that's true but it's uncrowded good where do you waves. live now do you live out here yeah or do you... i mean i just moved to oceanside oh but i've okay. been i've been in southern california for like four years oh perfect do you ever go out surfing here yeah oh, yeah you yeah, do yeah. oh mm -hmm. okay i tried surfing one time it wasn't that uh how it wasn't it wasn't that good really it was <laughs> i eh, love it it was what a happened, sight Chris? it was a sight no <laughs> i don't even want to talk about it what it was, was your favorite what, part about surfing getting out and going home <laughs> like i loved that part i was like i could be warm and it was just great all day long yeah oh, i feel for you no but it was like i don't know i just wasn't my thing you know it's mm -hmm. just i'm not the beach guy yeah you it's know? different no yeah, I, yeah. I grew up like in the ocean and like yeah. pretty comfortable well I, I did too though it's funny because no. i lived down the hill from the beach so i ever growing up boogie boarding body yeah. Surfing and I loved it. I, I think for me, honestly, like 
skateboarding just became like poor man surfing for yeah. me okay when you were doing all this was it ever thought in your mind to get sponsored and do all that stuff or was it just like hey i'm having only fun after or? i started skating at rye airfield because what, i started skating with these kids and they were all like getting sponsored oh. i didn't really i didn't know t- t- too much about it was it like manny and dave and those kids? see they were like a little bit older but um. like dave's uncle owns steve o'hara owns a surf shop um, called pioneers mm-hmm. it's up there mm-hmm. and i started riding for them and you know steve like came and like taught me like how to do proper backsiders at the vert ramp and just like you do have a good backside air oh thank you well that's (laughs) thanks to steve o'hara um because i used to just like early grab Mm -hmm. the shit out of i didn't know like i didn't know anything like it was whatever it really got to the point in high school too i think my parents you know they were always super supportive Mm -hmm. but there was part of it that was like all right well like you should do a sport like they really wanted me to do a sport or have a job okay right and i was like okay well what if i do like skateboard contests when they happen like does that make it a sport right okay and they're like okay but like you still only skate like once or twice a week oh they were really they were putting like a restriction on you a little bit not necessarily it was just more of like if this is what you want to do you have to get a job so you can like right. support like and that was fine like so i well because that's what kids are doing that yeah, age right yeah. they're going out getting jobs i had and, a job you know. at like 12 like oh wow. i did nannying stuff i did babysitting and then um one i worked at a surf shop called levitate on the south shore mm-hmm. and i like was 14 and they had me like running the store on like wednesdays in the summer i think that's illegal oh, <laughs> it was yeah. so sick like i'm illegal. like handling money i'm like counting money at the end of did the day did you ever put any in your pocket no okay Come I, don't, on. I don't know i'm just asking <laughs> you know nobody's watching she put it in her shoe yeah you didn't ask about my shoe <laughs> <laughs> yeah well okay i'll leave it or alone. my I'll purse leave, i'll leave it alone i'll leave it alone i think i will wink once if you okay <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take any money. Okay. Come on. Okay, so go keep going. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I had a bunch of different jobs. I worked, worked at supermarkets. I worked mm-hmm. at this like ski market, which is like a ski shop. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, by the time I was like a junior and senior in high school, I was like, damn, like I want to be a skateboarder. Right. <laughs> and I like right. didn't know what that entailed. Yeah. And um it was cool i like started riding for hoopla which is like oh yeah care beth totally. and mimi's company right how did you get hooked up with them because we had like some vert contests in boston for the do tour okay and they came out for that and met me wow. and i was just like trying to do like little video stuff mm-hmm. on the internet or whatever and, like right. we'd make little park edits okay i think that's kind of how it all started um so yeah i was like really into that and i like just got on like hoopla and like then Donnie Barley, like yeah. I would skate with him, uh, like I would run into him mm-hmm. and he was like trying to get me on like Element Flow and like okay. Billabong and it, right. it didn't work out. Uh-huh. Um, well, I said no to Element Flow because Hoopla. I was like, right. well, I just got on Hoopla. Like I'm not trying to right, 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 right. do anything, but um, he was like really helpful. And, and how old were you? For, what did you say? How old were you? <laughs> old as shit oh, come on like, now like 14 <laughs> 15 like 16, yeah 16? 15 16 okay that's not old that's though that's not old at all you know i started skating uh, when i was 15 that's you believe sick. that that's impressive yeah, right. that's really that was like impressive three years ago wow so, yeah. yeah congrats I know. thank you i'm all, i'm legal now just wait till you can <laughs> buy these legal i i'm not take soon. your time hopefully they won't change the age on me <laughs> nothing would surprise me okay so you're getting the you're getting the hoopla stuff and yep. you're stoked and was there any talk about like putting you on the team or well, was it just more of like hey let's see time, where this goes yeah i mean i was on the, like i was on the website oh. but it, i mean it, this, that's just how it worked with them as they had like like everybody was kind of flow okay. and like it was really new mm-hmm. and then so then after all that happened, like then I graduated from high school. Congratulations. Like, Not many people <laughs> achieve that in skateboarding. Yeah, true. Yes, yes, Thank I, you so yes, much. I can relate to that. It was definitely like interesting because, you know, I, I didn't do great in high school, but I did, I did well. Like I yeah. had like a 3.5 GPA and like was on that's National pretty, Honor Society. And I just remember like. you didn't do good? Yeah, like this is awesome. like. No, but like. You're talking to a C average student. Yeah, here. Like, I'm like, I'm like I stoked apply, if I got I didn't like, apply myself fully. I did whatever it took just to get by. Exactly. The year after high school, I took a year off and I worked um, for this company called Mammoth Media, which does like large scale advertising. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And. I kind of like went into it thinking like my mom got me the job somehow and I kind of went into it being like, oh, I'll kind of be learning all this. And I was like, I was like full blown like labor in the back, like no. working with all these guys. Oh. And yeah, I like it was kind of like intense. And a year of my life went by and I was like, I need to like go Get out of here. <laughs> it was a really hard year, too, because I had I kind of developed really bad anxiety through high school. Okay. And then. There was a part where I decided to move to California and then there was like this really weird little area like before I left that I like 
like couldn't even skateboard and i don't know if it was like because i was moving to california and i was like all anxious i don't it was so weird but i like had like this really like interesting time where i was like pretty like stressed out and then you know i didn't know very many people but i got a job at woodward west for like eight weeks okay so i like couldn't fly like i was paranoid so i took the train <laughs> how long did that take like three four days 71 eight? hours <laughs> oh my god yeah. see that would give me anxiety yeah, yeah seriously yeah. like it was that's... cool like <laughs> no they're, they're cool for the first like six hours it and was... then it's like no let me it was an experience okay so but you yeah. got out to woodward west <laughs> worked at woodward west for eight weeks was wow. there for eight weeks like i didn't leave for... but did you like it though yeah it was you... cool okay. it was cool because i like met people that I be- then became friends with yeah. or that I then would see skating or right, worked right. with or whatever. But yeah, so I worked <laughs> at Woodward for eight weeks and then my mom like decided to move out for a year with me. But you, you didn't know anybody down here? You didn't like... I knew I was really good friends with like Mimi Noop mm-hmm. and Lizzie. Okay. And Alicia. So you knew people out here. Yeah. You weren't, you, you weren't just winging no, it I and coming out I to like... No, I wasn't fully winging it, but right. I mean, I didn't... <laughs> you had couches to sleep on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. And, okay, right, right. And then my mom was like, oh, like, she works for Apple, so she was able to, you know... Give me a deal on a good ex- computer? <laughs> yes. Yeah? But okay. I'm getting her deal this year. No, no, no. So please, no. 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 Please. I don't even own a computer, and I'm buying one no. like in two weeks. Can we, can we buy in bulk? Right. You can buy... IPhone? You can get 15% off. Can she give me anything? Really? Come on. I love Apple. Whatever. What? <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead. She, she works at Apple. She and works what, at Apple. Yeah. She was able to transfer to, it was so crazy. She was like, where should we live? I'm like, I don't know. Really? She transferred to the Mission Viejo store. Okay. We lived there for wow. a while. Nice. And, and, you know, family stuff happened and she actually still lives here. But, okay. yeah, it was just kind of wild. And I definitely wouldn't, like, be where I am or in the places I've been without her having moved and made right. like that sacrifice. So you think you would have moved back there? <laughs> no, or... I definitely would have moved back. Okay, the, the you were, we were talking about the hoopla stuff, right? Yes. Hoopla. So what happened with that and how did you move on? Okay. So I moved to California mm-hmm. and at the time my mother and I shared a car. Okay. And I just, we didn't, I didn't have a car, I didn't have money for a car, but I needed a job. And she works at the mall. And so I was like, I'm going to get a job at the mall. Cinnabon? Did you get a job at Cinnabon? <laughs> Where does a young skateboarder get a job at the mall? Right. Pack Sun. Pack Sun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. And literally like my first shift was like the Black Friday shift. So I worked oh midnight Jeez. to 9 a.m. Wow. And on the way home, I got like a flat tire. Oh, God. <laughs> and I was just like crying on the side. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was my existence working at Pack Sun because then that week I was skating like the Combi Bowl in Orange. Okay. I met. Jason Salaya and Daniel Vargas and okay. they came up to me and they had seen me at Etnies because that was also another park I would mm-hmm. skate in the area and they, and they came up to me and he was like oh I, I saw you speaking English and I was like what, what does that mean <laughs> I was like yeah he's like we've seen you at Etnies like I thought you were Brazilian mm. we didn't know if you spoke English <laughs> okay. I was like oh yeah no and then I saw his board I was like oh welcome welcome sick yeah okay. and I didn't know who he was right, right, right. he's like oh cool like like where are you from? I'm like mm-hmm. we just were chatting for a little bit, and then we were skating, and then I saw him again at Combi that week, okay. and he came up to me and he was like, "Hey, like, do you want a job?" <laughs> I was like, "Just offer you a job?" Yes. That's weird. But wait, who are you? Yeah. And what? You know, what kind of work this? you offering here? Right, what are you asking? Right. He's yeah. like, "So I own Welcome, and we're still small, and we're still out of our garage, but Daniel works with me, and I have him over, and you know, we just, I just." I want a girl working for us because I trust you more than a guy. Mm-hmm. And basically, yeah, I like went over his house and I was working off a TV tray and wow. we kind of figured it out so I could be making the Were you money. doing a sales firm or? Yeah, it started off as whatever he needed me to do. Yeah. Like, mm. Literally we're in a garage, like packing wow. boxes. Or, I was on a TV tray. And then, you know, three warehouses later. Right, wow. Just, like he wanted me to ride for him initially, mm. but... He also needed help. <laughs> he also needed help. So he was like, whatever I can get. <laughs> and then he was kind of like, well, you definitely can't be like working here and like skating other boards. So he'd like give me a welcome board to skate when we went and skated. I was like, that's fine. And I mean, it was definitely something I knew right away. I was like really interested in doing. Right. And yeah, just the time came to where. Did you have to call anybody at Hoopla and tell them? No, I like them, took or... Mimi to dinner and I was like, hey, like, I just want you to know, like, I'm going to start writing for welcome and okay. she totally understood oh cool right. yeah, yeah. yeah i mean it was like hard but yeah. but i feel like they just kind of come into their own in the yeah. last couple oh, of totally. years too you know well the team is right. all i feel like the team's now set and yeah. we they just really had our first disrupted video. industry 
like two years well, ago they came yeah. in. I think <laughs> that's like, what I'm yeah. saying. Like yeah. I think they really like popped off, you know. Yeah. But I mm-hmm. think a lot of like small companies have. Too, yeah. You know? Oh, it's just so been they like offer something different. They were the ones that were making the uh, shaped boards, right? That was the thing. Like I feel yeah. like welcome. Was just no like it was, made everybody have to have a shape board. Yeah, no Ooh. one was really doing it except right. for like Lucero. Yeah, like a new generation right. of kids come yeah. around skating the yeah. shape Well, just, the whole thing yeah, that okay. Welcome like stood for initially was yeah, it was, you know, Jason wasn't like he's a kid of the '80s and he wasn't mm-hmm. stoked on just how skateboarding had just become boards with logos slapped right. on yeah, them just and level one graphics. Yeah, yeah, and it just like it didn't mean it. Like it wasn't like putting together a board was like the magical experience it had right. been for right. him yeah. in the eighties when wow. he was setting up like his Miller Planet Earth board or whatever. Yeah. And so he was just was like, oh, I'll just make my own boards. And then he's always been into art and just started drawing and No, it's cool. I love what that love what they're doing. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think it's awesome. It's been really, really, really insane to yeah. see it firsthand so when you when he said you just can't ride any other board you got to ride our boards was no, it just like, got like but, but he, was he saying he, like hey i want you to skate for us yeah, or yeah, is no it, yeah yeah like he was just playing but he no he wanted okay. me he was like hey i want you to ride for us um have they done other well, videos before a lot of online. there's always been a lot online, of online but, but this was like their first like Fetish this was, was like the first, first yeah this was the first like right. we had a video premiere yeah it's the first time all these guys like the whole team is like a collective itself right, like it's right. like Here's Jason Salilas. Here's Ryan Townley. Like, it's the first time that, yeah, everybody's together. It's a full length. Right. It's a great video. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. Cool. No, yeah. your part was great, too. Thank you. I like how they mixed in your little uh, ballet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? That was awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, even, you even had, like, a, a dope ender. What was it? It was kind of like a shuffle or know. something, your That's, ender. It was like... Like, that video goes on for, like, two minutes, <laughs> and it's me just, like, doing everything the teacher's telling us not to do. It looked like... It kind of looked like I was watching them, like... She's she's kind of off on her own. I was told like she, she's there was like other the... parts of the video that are really funny, and I'm like, they're like get into first position, and all the girls are doing like a pirouette thing, and I'm right. just like, this is my first position. I don't know what this. Well, is. how long did it take to, from, from from conception to like video? I don't know because some people were think? working on stuff for yeah. like two years. Okay. Um, I feel like I had only started filming like last year for it. Oh wow! And then I think it's funny because we're all kind of far away from each other, mm. and we didn't go on that many trips Mm -hmm. so it was really cool to see like oh we got a lot done without with like minimal effort but in like the future it's like now we know you know well trips are every trips are when when you're making videos it's like it's like uh, but also having a team that can actually do things on their own yeah no it's great it's great and that's always had it how it had been right so i think jason was like oh well these guys are getting all this footage and I'm like, I live in Orange County and we need to find someone with a VX. <laughs> but, but that's the thing is like sometimes you're you're at home, you're in your comfort zone. Yeah, you know, yeah. you'd rather just go to, to Everybody's go to your, different you know, too. Exactly. Like some people right. can like go on a trip for two weeks and just perform. Yeah. Like can just do it all. Did you have tricks in mind that you wanted to film for your part? Yeah, there was a lot of stuff I really wanted to do that I didn't get to do. Yeah. Was this your first video part? Yeah. So Well your first one. Yeah. You know, there's just many the many to, it's just the begin there's many to come. <laughs> yeah, right? no, totally. How did the Adidas thing come the into Adidas come into thing. play? You know? Was it uh I snap my fingers? Really? Is that easy? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um it was really bizarre. In a good way. Were you talking to anybody before that? Were you getting shoes from anybody else? Yeah, I was with Converse for a while. Oh, time. okay. Gotcha. But I, I just didn't think they were that interested and mm, Okay. It had gotten to the point where I was like, damn, I like want to do this and I like right. want to travel and I want to go on trips yeah. and I'm like, how do I do this? And basically started working with Ryan Clements who mm-hmm. does, um, he manages, a, yeah, yeah, he does the yeah. border, all that stuff, long time skateboarder, but he also just like knows the business of skating. Of course. And I think especially as like Great a guy too. super yeah. good guy. Yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I also think just like in the business of skateboarding, I think in the business of a lot of things, being a woman, you do not get taken seriously. And that's okay. just just how it is. Yeah. And it, how do you feel about that, though? It, like, it's a man's world. Like, I right, get it. Right. But at the same time, sometimes you need, like, a spokesperson. Literally, yes. sometimes you need someone who's going to be, like, that middle man. going to go to bat for you. But listen, even guys need that sometimes. Though, oh, totally. You know? Like, I see. But, but I know what you're saying. Like, yeah, being the girl, yeah, yeah. it's not Yeah, really, well, I think it's, it's like. harder, right? When you're you a girl. It, more. Yeah, is when you're a girl, it's maybe? really hard to go up to somebody and be like, this is who I'm writing for and this is the trips I want to go on and I want to film this part. Right. If I'm talking to somebody about doing this, it's very likely that they're a guy and it's very likely that this is their business. Yeah. And, you know, they have a lot of people that they're trying to take care of. And so, yeah, it's just hard to 
to like approach navigate things. And, it's hard to yeah, navigate. Yeah. Right. And it's not, a, it's not a bad thing. It just is like, yeah. it totally just is. And that's right. fine. But did you think, do you think you have to like work harder for it or like, would yes you, and no, yeah? there's pros and cons to okay. it because right. I, I totally think that being a girl, you just stick out more anyway. Right. Totally. And yep. that's fine. But then there's well, parts of it. Well, especially here in California too. Yeah. If you go to like Barcelona and stuff, I mean, there's girl skaters that Everywhere. rip yeah. all yeah, over yeah. the place, yeah, you yeah. know, so. And it's gr- like, it's grown like yeah. every six months. Of it's course. like there's five new girls yeah. who are like putting Instagram clips up who rip or like totally. whatever. And it's super cool. But I think, um, yeah, I think, I think it was just, it was like kind of hard to be taken seriously in a lot mm-hmm. of aspects. Okay. And I think a lot of people were like pretty comfortable with being like, oh, we can just give her product and whatever. Right. But it's like, it was like I had to make the choice. Like I was going to either work at Welcome and really work at Welcome and do my job. And, you know, I was working full time anyway, but I had to get serious mm-hmm. or I had to try to skate. Right. And Jason and myself and everybody else who's always supported me is like, you need to just do this. Like, right. You need to just try. Yeah. And I was like, well, yeah, I moved to California. I've right, done all right. this work already. Like, right. yeah, I want to. It's your so, passion. It's like, yeah, you wanna, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, like I can't it. not do it anyway. So why not try to like, yeah, do like, why not try to like throw the ball out there and right. see if it catches. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I was just trying to like take in as much information right. I could as okay. like how people were approaching situations. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. I mean, everybody approaches it differently. differently. There's plenty. Everybody of people. has a different story. Totally. It's, so. it's really cool. I love that. Yeah. And yeah, I just, I don't remember if I texted him. I probably emailed him. Okay. Cause we have mutual friends and contacts and I was like, Hey, like, I'd love to just chat about what you do. And you know, I want to give you my goals for the year and right, right, right. Wow. yeah, it just worked out really, really well. And nice. at the time, like he's always had a pretty good relationship with Adidas, but yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Like that was like way back in probably March Okay. and they had away days and they had all that other stuff that was really important. Right. And I didn't meet like Yasha. Yeah. who's like the brand manager of skateboarding and like skin and those guys until mm-hmm. like September. Really? really? Wow. And that was like around the time that they were like, this is what, like, let's do it. So did they have to like, did you have to like meet the whole team or was it just kind of like, so you got thrown I got, into the lines I got thrown into or, the lines really? Really? But it was nice. great. Yeah. Huh? That when you guys went to New York? Yeah. And I think it was cool because I don't think they like had anticipated. I think they knew that they were down for what I was about and right. they were down to support my skateboarding and have me be a part of it. Mm-hmm. But I don't think they knew that it was going to be like, like it was like, Oh, we can take her on trips. <laughs> like once I met everybody, it was, right. I don't know. It was really cool. Like for me, like the coolest part of the whole thing was after New York and hanging out with those guys, getting like a call from skin and getting like a text from like Paul Shire, Paul Shire who now yeah. handles stuff mm-hmm. and like having those guys be like, dude, like it went way better than expected. Like we cool. really like the guys like, really enjoy skate right. like just being able to like be part of a skate team and hop in the van right. yeah. like that's all i want to do well, were like you i nervous don't meeting everybody when you're yeah, like yeah but it's like dude like this is like, like what i like i gotta like, do it like I no can't. of course you gotta do it but uh, you know yeah i mean there's a uh, i was just like dude i'm right. sorry you guys have to deal with me but you're, you're <laughs> no, all awesome <laughs> you know, I mean, no it's just cool like like i like i look up to like like Alyssa Steamer and like yeah. Marissa Del Santo and yeah. like Cara Beth, like they could always hang. Right. Yeah. And so for me, right. like that's more important to me than like any check or people yeah, being like, oh, sure. we'll support you and do this. Cause I like, there's a lot of ways you can do it. Like there's ways that you could probably like get the check and be supported by a company and be ride for them, but be like on the sidelines. Never involved. Yeah. Never right. involved. Never involved. And it's like, course. dude, screw that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to go watch Dennis do this line in Australia. Right. And I just right, want to right, sit right, there right. and like be part of it. Like, did I you ever be in the think van. that it was going to be turned into that? Or do, were, no. were you like, hey, I might See, just be this, on the sidelines? That's lines. the part that's crazy because it's you like know? way beyond my wildest dreams. Yeah. Like I did not think it was possible. Right, right, right. Like once Lizzie got on Vans, I was like, damn, that's sick. Right. And like Leticia on Nike, I was like, that's sick. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I think at that point I was like, damn, like what are the options? You know, like. Yeah are there options? Like, does this happen anymore? Like, right, will this right. happen again? Will it stay? Will it last? Will yeah. they kind of start all girl teams? Well, yeah. see, that's what I don't like. Well, yeah. I, I'm just, I'm, like, I don't like just these, uh, like a branch off, mm-hmm. you know, it's yeah. like, Hey, put them on the team. Yeah. Like, totally. yeah. make them include. That's what, like, like, that's me. I don't want to be like a charity case. Yeah, that's, I want right. to be like part of it. Like exactly. if you're down, like I'm down, like I'll work super hard. Like right, let's right. try it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, like I said, it was like beyond my wildest dreams. Right. Well, I, was, I like to see more of it, you know, because yeah. I think like it'll happen. There's so many, It'll there's so many like female skate, like, but there's so many amazing like skaters. 
Like Period. there's so many amazing yeah. guys well, who will never way get. Too many right now. No, right. I know. Like there's guys who are never gonna get to go. I know. And experience like what I've already experienced, yeah. or like be a part of it. So team. you think that like maybe you had an advantage because you're a woman? Yeah, like, I think yeah, in a lot of ways. So? Yes and no. Yeah. Yes and no, because mm. I still have days where I'm like, damn it, if I was a guy, like I could do that. Like, like, like I what? struggle with. Like, do no, what, like I'll though? struggle like, with a trick. Like it'll okay. take me really long to do something, right. and I do it. I'm like, that was easy as shit. Yeah. But I'm like, if I was a guy, I would have just. Handled that no, right but away. that's not even true, though. It is totally no. True. What are you talking about? I've I've okay. struggled with tricks for no. six, seven hours. Yeah, I want to know what you're comparing. This is, right. this is my though. science. Let's this get Bill science. Nye on this. What do, what do you got? Bill Nye, yes. the science guy. Okay. So, when you, boy and girl, before puberty, are you giving me the birds and the bees speech right now? <laughs> is this what we're doing? Okay. There is this little part of your brain that mm-hmm. controls your survival instinct. Go on. And it controls a bunch of. You know, your reflexes, like all this stuff. Go on. You're yep. scared, like how scared you are of things, how you handle things physically, all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's like this big or whatever. And then when you're a girl and you hit puberty, it gets like this big. Okay. Right. Like, because as a woman, yep. my evolutionary and like scientific, like what I'm supposed to do is to have children. Right. Okay. And so after I hit puberty and all this stuff is happening, you are like supposed to, your survival instinct as a woman goes off the charts. Cause like you're supposed to like protect your body. And I've totally noticed it. Like as really? I've gotten older and skated, I'm like, damn, it's so much harder for me to like make myself do this when it used to be totally easier for me. Like I totally used to be you, like, you know what though? I mean, listen, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah but yeah. do you think it's just, getting older too sometimes yeah, because yeah, yeah. you know even guys but it's totally just like it just is like a thing like yeah. a scientific thing so like, well i didn't know this i'm like just super fascinated in that like male to female thing because yeah. it's like right. you can't go on slap without seeing like a girl if a girl's brought up it's always like right well if this was a guy doing this like i wouldn't be impressed and it's like right, right yeah right. but like just shut up <laughs> <laughs> well do you get a lot of that stuff i mean like, do you get a lot of fortunately like, uh, don't but okay. i i see it like i yeah. bums me out like right when somebody like Leticia has like a battle commander and right. people just have to nitpick it and pull it apart. And it's like, dude, just yeah. shut up. Right, right, right. It's like, you, sometimes you're like, why do I have to like justify how I do something? Right. Like, why is it based on my gender? Right. I mean, I've talked about this before with somebody where it's kind of like the whole idea of like, it's like the label aspect. So you have like people, so you have like male versus female. Yeah. You have people who are skateboarders or directors or writers or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then if you're a girl, it's you're a girl director, or you're a girl skateboarder, right. you're a girl, like you're not right. just a skateboarder. Yeah. Like there's this like offset thing or it's like the whole idea of like, oh, you're good for a girl. No, oh, well, that that's lame to say. No, obviously. But yeah. it's like the same, you know, it's just like along the same lines. It's like, why can't like if I skateboard and if you like my skating or even if you don't like your, my right, skating, right. like, can you just like appreciate it? as me as a skateboarder rather than yeah you know. well i feel right. like a most most of it's like um because skateboarding was sort of male dominated sport and yeah. all of a sudden like girls have been slowly creeping yeah. in it's like at first like yeah she's good for a girl that's yeah. pretty rad you know what i mean like yeah. more and i think it's like no harm done no yeah. harm meant by that yeah yeah, you know, yeah. Right, right yeah, yeah. but it, like right. it always it was, you're, like, you're pretty rare yeah. Yeah. yeah and i like a lot of like i think i still think a lot of that just has to do with like the physicality of it like it's a rough it's hard being a skateboarder is really hard like it doesn't matter if you're a girl or guy like think about it every day you do something that you love to do and it doesn't matter how good you are you're gonna eat shit that day probably like you're gonna go down if you're kelly you're raw especially if you're kelly right right (laughs) no but like think about it like how many how many things is like how many things are people involved in where they know you like you know right off the bat like this is gonna hurt yeah. like this is gonna beat you up right, yeah. right but it's right, like right. you don't have a choice like you're gonna do it you love yeah, it yeah if you want to do it you're gonna do it yeah you're gonna yeah. do it yeah. but I, I just think that's like the nature of skateboarding right, right and i still think for a lot of especially for a lot of young girls it is really hard and intimidating to like either go to a skate park or mm-hmm. you know hang out with guys and and take those initial slams because you're you're you come from a place where people are like that's not ladylike who's thinking like that though no, there's people I mean, still that's think like, like that think almost like a normal society that's type totally of thing. normal yeah. like yeah because i had friends and like i had a little ramp in my barn and like i had a few friends who would try it but i had other friends who were so naturally like like very inclined athletically could do whatever they wanted but it was just so funny because like i could totally see like they're just scared to fall like they're scared to like 
be out of that comfort zone. Right, yeah. right, right. And I, and no I, one wants to eat shit, though. No, of course True. not. True. <laughs> no, but it, there's something about eating shit that actually, like, feels good yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I like You it know, there, it's yeah. like, wow, that fucking... It's almost I'm like... Alive, it's almost Yeah, it's like, right? there's, an, like a, there's an addicting part of it, yeah, for sure. Totally. So what are you, are you filming for anything else right now? Yeah, I'm working you, on, uh, like... I mean, I guess it would be, like, a thrasher part. Okay, but yeah. It's cool because it's been in something I've talked to Mike Gilbert about for, like, a long time. Right. But just... I was working full time and then I had other like fetish came up and I just made sure that was all done. And yeah, yeah I don't know. It's like you get sidetracked, but I feel like I'm finally like in the place where I can put the time into it yeah, and yeah, make yeah. it into what I want it to, to be. Really well, going excited. on these Adidas trips, I mean, I'm sure that you, you film a lot of stuff on there, but are mm-hmm. you using that for, for anything or are you trying um, to like... I honestly don't know. Like no? they have yeah. some, they, they have, have stuff. some stuff. Right. And I don't know if they're using, like, they use it for different stuff because right. they've been making their city edits yeah, and stuff, which is really okay. cool. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to, especially when it comes to, like, contests, it's, like, every time I travel somewhere, right. I'm trying to, like, make it a point to be, like, I mean, what's cool is, especially with Park Series, like, they usually are sending Thrasher guys out there. Oh, yeah. So going and filming with Mike or Dan or whoever they send while yeah. we're, like, in a cool place yeah. would be, right, right, that'll right, be the right. goal, yeah. making time for it, but. I, I love watching skating that, that you could tell the person's having fun. Yeah. You know, exa- and, like, well, you know, that's they're not like, just, like. Mm-mm, that's my goal you know? if, if anything yeah. it's like i hope people are like want to go skate after they see me skate or something right, i don't right, know right. yeah to any no, effect trust me i want to do a backside air out of the ball cool you yeah. <laughs> know awesome <laughs> she i don't know if she I'm believes me i'm sorry no i'm being <laughs> she's kind of using like chris's own sarcasm yeah like, no like, the thing right is, is like I, no i love it but i i can't do i'm not a bull, i'm not a bull yeah. I, I i didn't grow up with transitions i grew up on the street, yeah. You like, grew up we didn't on the fucking have, beach. I grew up on the beach. Yeah, we yeah. didn't have we didn't have skate parks. We didn't have anything. Where'd you grow up? What? Like Malibu, Santa Monica. Damn, that's cool. What was like the first but, video you saw? Like a skate video. Mm. First skate video that like I saw and was like changed everything was a bag of suck. Really? Oh. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Whose part? Uh, Louis Barletta's and yeah. Jason Adams. When you watch skate videos, are you like? Do you like to watch all kinds of skating? Or do yeah. you focus more on like no. the bowls and the... Z- z- yeah. No, I want to see. I like everything. You like everything? You ever try snow snowboarding or anything? Yeah. Yeah? A little bit. A okay. little bit. And I'm not into like being attached to the board. Yeah. It's kind of weird, right? It's it's, co- it's cool, yeah. but like it's gnarly. Yeah. Like I'm not trying to kill myself. I feel like anytime you see a fall from a snowboarder too, it's oh, not there's, easy. There's it's, not it's like, like a little up. fall. Like yeah. people get yeah. broken. I've never done it. Really? No, never snowboarded. You should do it. Eh, Just maybe. go to Bear or wherever. Let's go, yeah, let's dude. Go, dude. Oh God. We'll go live. And we're gonna film Chris live his first time snowboarding. Yeah. Come on, take a risk. No, I'll take a risk, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just follow so the Nightclub Show. Fucking Kelly live a little. filming me live on Instagram. <laughs> live a little. Bullshit, Come on. You know? Listen, I do live. You know. <laughs> live down my, the street. Yeah, I live down the street. I got my cat. I got it. You know, I got everything. Why is the cat not here? Larry? No, she can't come here. She's too. She's a little scaredy cat, you know. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just well, a listen, little you disappointed. Got, you, listen, you have a cat. What's your cat's name? They're not my cats. Okay. But I live with them. Okay. They are my roommates. Okay. There's seven of them. <laughs> seven. Is, oh. Crazy cat lady. Yeah. Who's this cat Why? lady you're living with? Kara Beth Burnside. No way. Yeah. Wow. So she's got. Her listen, cats. I love cats, but seven. Yeah. Oh, little, they're little, chill though, and you I, wouldn't even. You it, walk in a house and you're like, "This is beautiful," and then you see a cat and you're like, "Oh, it's cute," and it's like, "How many do you, you have?" And you're like, one. seven. And you see another one. No, they're is great. Is it like Ace Ventura when she comes home <laughs> and all the animals come um, out and like? No, they're pretty. No? You know, they're pretty well mannered. Okay. They're pretty well, clean. Cats are always, yeah. But let me see if I can name them all. So there's Lou. So she's the one who's always in my little Insta feed. Okay. She's Lou my, seems like a sweetheart. She favorite. is yeah. a plush. Okay. She just is my best friend. So I love these. I love uh, real names. Yeah. Well, her name like is a, Jezzy. Oh. And I don't know where Lou came from, but she's Lou. Lou. Like, I like She Lou. goes by Lou. You ever call her Louis? Louis? No, no Lulu. Louis? Lulu? Okay. Lucy. What do you think about a cat on a leash? I'm down. You down? That's Only... really weird looking. No, it is so weird looking, but if but everybody did it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be, be weird, weird looking. Here's my oh. theory is I am, where I grew up, we had an indoor outdoor cat. She would mm-hmm. come in at night. She was chill, relatively safe area. Like we had cats that got eaten by coyotes, but it was yeah. pretty mellow. But like out here, like at least where I live, it's like coyote central. Right. Like yeah. your yeah, cats are getting sure. picked off. Right. So I probably, if I lived here and had my own cat, it mm-hmm. would be an indoor cat, but I would totally take it for a walk. Maybe I'll get a leash for Larry. Yeah. Maybe take her for a couple. I, I don't know. I will take Larry just... for a walk. Really? I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> I will come back up. Okay. What about, so dogs, um, you're just not into dogs, and I like dogs. I just don't like how they smell when they're wet. Yeah. <laughs> or most of the time. I tell you what, I'm the same way, though. 
other that It's just because I didn't grow up with one in my house. Yeah. Like, it's just a different scent. And I also right. don't like things that are like super needy. My cat just walks by and like, what's up? Yeah, the cat's like, whatever. And, like, and the goes, dog's just like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, get the fuck out like of you here. need to yeah, stop. Are you planning on going to the Olympics? Yeah, I'd like to go. I yeah. want a freaking jumpsuit, man. You gonna do? You gonna wear a jumpsuit? <laughs> yeah, I want like Ralph Lauren. What if they I were like a oh, Ralph bag. Lauren in the? You know, they're mm-hmm. not gonna make you designer jumpsuits. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Have it's you be... ever watched the Olympics? No, I don't, I don't watch the Olympics. <laughs> oh my god, dude! They're not you Ralph get... Lauren, though. No, yes, are they? they are. <laughs> what are they? Olympics? Are you watching? All of them, or just some, or depending? I think all the f- American athletes get. Yeah, you're like Ralph Lauren really? jumpsuits and duffel bags, and That's you get to wear like a uniform and like perform but, on the world stage right and right right but that's cool dude the Olympics. <laughs> down. I think that's the main reason for I, going to the yeah, Olympics. Oh, i think I'm you're more so hung down. up on the, the, on the, the i'm the so Ralph down, down yeah. Than yeah. anything i'm right. hung up on that and like the idea of like if you do well you're like on the cover of like cereal boxes and right, stuff right, right. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. i want a well, kid a to like i want a kid to open up their refrigerator and like pull out a gogurt right this is a gogurt and it's like me <laughs> with my skateboard. Yeah. And it's like wild berry gogurt. Well, see, I'd rather be on a gogurt than a Wheaties box. I just oh, yeah, I don't like too. Wheaties. I like you know, gogurts. I like bland. It's the like... best thing with gogurts is like you take a gogurt yeah. and you throw them in the freezer. Oh, yeah. Oh. <sighs> Never tried that. But you, you, you get them so they're not the frozen, but they're like slushies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. Yeah, but it's Clarence. like the Olympics. It's super cool because it's like. Like you don't have to be a skateboarder, you know what the fucking Olympics are. Like I just didn't know that the different. Ralph Lauren did all the things. Oh and stuff, yeah, that's you know? that's my major. Well, hang what up. if you had to like wear like a skin tight? I don't. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> really. Well, let, let me ask you a question. Do you? Uh, I like costumes. I like dressing up. Like, do you like dressing up? Oh, totally. Like whatever. So if you were going out, not on the town, right? Okay. Are you dressing up like? Uh, uh, no, I'm not. No? Like, I'm not. What's, like, what's your what's your idea of dressing up though? Short skirts or more no, like of costumes? Like, oh, like Halloween types, right? Yeah, yeah okay. like I want to be like being an actor, so like you just yeah, get right, throw right, like right. whatever you're wearing. Okay, I don't know. Okay. I'm not good at like the whole like dressing up thing. No, you don't like it. I like it. Yeah. I'm just not good at it. Like what I'm not. Mean, you're not yeah. I don't know. Like I have like a very interesting. <laughs> kind of like what you're doing right now. Like you're just kind of like. That'd be great. Like here's at, here's yeah, my thing: is like club, I like, like dressing up. I like yeah, dressing yeah, up yeah. like boy. Like I like how boys get dressed up. It's so easy for them. But like, right. like think about how good. Look, well, maybe not you guys, but like, like guys look so good when they're in like a tuxedo. What do you mean not, a, not us yeah. guys? What? what do you mean? What's that supposed to mean? No, like you're not. You're, I look fucking great in a tuxedo. <laughs> assuming you're all straight men, you're not like sitting there like. Oh, no. oh damn, that guy looks sick in a tuxedo. Like I'm right, just right. like, no. but like it's easier. Like <laughs> for a girl, like right. if you're I mean, gonna get dressed Dylan up, Dylan Lurie look great in a tuxedo. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. what I mean. Right, right, yeah. Like that's or what suit. I mean. It's amazing. Right, but like, but it's very simple. Like for guys, it's very simple to dress up like that. So it's hard being a girl. It's like there's like a whole nother like world of no dress. like i gotta wear uh, earrings yeah. and then like <laughs> you don't have to. Like hers has to match, and then it's like, are you gonna wear like like I'm in like. I'm in the sneakers and it's right. like I have these cool little shoes and like I like wearing those I can wear them with anything but right, right, right. I think my look I think still when I dress up it's still like a little bit like tomboyish yeah. but like I like dresses like I would totally be down right. but that's just like a whole nother issue well I, I still like a girl that wears you know like uh, Chuck Taylors and, yeah. and jeans mm-hmm. and a sweat you know what I mean like it's just but not, I, I think just like, like the, the spectrum of dressing up for a woman is right. like so not like there's so many options. endless yeah endless. right well I think you see endless. it a lot because you're out skating with guys and everything and see how easy it is for yeah, them it's so yeah. easy. and then you have to go and you see the, like, what girls do and you're but like you and still... then I like think I'm getting all dressed up and they're like oh did you just come from skating and I'm like <laughs> you're like I spent like an I'm like, hour. These are my not skate pants. Thank you very right, much. Right, right. And my not skate socks. They're yeah. from J Crew and they're too slippery to skate in. So, <laughs> but oh yeah, I don't God. know. It's hard. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I get it. Because I'm, I'm very simple. I'm like I just throw. Shit I'm on. simple too. I don't even look in the fucking mirror. I just well, throw like shit makeup. on. I'm, I'm not a big fan of makeup though. Oh, I don't like good. makeup. It, it awesome. irritates my skin. Oh yeah. Yeah. I get it. Like I, I like natural. You know, like mm-hmm. I, I look at a girl and I'm like, I want to see that. I want to see the girl. If I was to wear makeup like more than for like a special occasion right 
I would just have like that would be my new standard and then I would always have to no. do makeup and then yeah that's like what it is like I know is girls it? who have like a process like almost every day they're in like a full deal like makeup really? yeah it's gnarly man. Oh. but like I'm down like I want to wear a dress like yeah. I would love to go out right. nice and sequin dress or like a, sl- a slim black no like a slim black yeah dress. like yeah that's good Flats see the thing is, is you should never we, wear uh, anything that's like overpowering you you know oh. but you want to wear something that makes you look great right i think okay. that's like the key yeah what do you think would make me look great over the top like what do you like what do you uh if you had to dress <laughs> me what would you uh what, what first of all where would we go we would we go to like uh it's a bit hopeless at this point Whoa. oh <laughs> i like her she's <laughs> I don't know. Nora. Here, you know Men, men's Nora. warehouse. <laughs> Listen. No, you know, here's, you know what my wow. thing is? If you want to make anybody look amazing, boy or girl, right. anything, okay. put a, like a collar, anything with a collar on it. Oh. I love collars. Okay, collar. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I can see that. Put a little sweater over uh, that. Like, yeah. Oh, a sweater with the collar popping out? You like that, mm-hmm. huh? Okay. <laughs> See, to me, to me, that's more like I'm going to go to church right now. You know, no, it's like I'm going to go right. out and I'm not going to like, Have you I ever gone into J. Crew? No. I have. I'm just saying, like, how they dress the men and women in J. Crew is like, right. if I had somebody styling me every single oh. day, like, I'd want to look like. Really? Yeah. Okay. These girls have, like, sick, like, high waisted, high watered pants right. on and, like, sneakers. Oh. But they have, like, a blazer. Right. And they have, like, a collared shirt that's all buttoned up and cool. And then she has, like, long necklaces. Really? And, like, big ear. Oh, oh, it's so cool. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. I haven't bought clothes in, like, I mean, I, I I ordered boxers online on Amazon like the you, other day. Like that's all I that's all I did. You order your boxers. I did that's because I already problem. know what I, I already know. What do you mean? You ordered I your boxers know. off. Oh, he online. orders everything on there on Amazon. Yeah, he has, let, a, but, he has a button let, for it. Let, Nora, yeah. follow me for a second, yeah. Nora. Okay. okay, I know what boxers I wear. Right, I wear but Hanes. Like, why can't you okay? just go to Kohl's? Why when I can just click on my phone and order Hanes boxers and have I them in my person, house the next I day? I like instant satisfaction. I don't really need so instant satisfaction. Yeah, but he's getting instant satisfaction boxers. by ordering what he wanted. Yeah, but she knows. But you know what you're getting. I don't have to go out. I know what I'm getting. Yeah. No, but you physically know what you're getting at the store. That's what I think makes a person. But then you just have it right away. I don't need my. I have. T- I have thirty pairs of boxers. Why are you buying more? The elastic. <laughs> gets stretchy. Richie, you know this, right? The elastic, yeah. and all of a sudden, you, you they're can't... They're just blown out. Are you they're blown like, out. Are you getting like the briefs? or what? what, what I do get you bro- boxer briefs. Okay. Yeah. They, you know what I'm saying? Right. You right, gotta, you right, gotta right, go right. commando. No, I, no, I would not do that. No. Don't do that, Chris. Listen, Nora thinks I'm a weirdo now. No, so, I just... Let's, just, like, let's uh, just forget about it. No, I'm not. I'm not going to let this go, okay? Let's just move on. I need you to approve of me. Okay, I approve Thank of you. your boxer okay. fetish. Thank you. It's not we a did, fetish. It's, a, it's just a, a little... 30 pairs and you're still buying more boxers. Well, he doesn't do laundry. When I say... Well, there's your problem. Yeah. Here's the thing, though, is you know what? I used to think Amazon was, was full of shit. I used to think it was lame. And that's all you do now. I love it. I got a problem. It's no, okay, I have, though. I, I, I accept it. I'm I great a, with it, you know? <laughs> I have a friend who's the same way, but yeah. it's cool. It's great. It's fine. All right. So listen, <laughs> let's let's bring it back to... Uh, let's reel it in. <laughs> let's reel it in. Let's reel it in, you know? I don't like it. You know, I feel like... You, uh, I'm sorry. You know? It's fun. So bring it back real quick. What would you think Chris would look nice in? Oh, oh just yeah. anything collared. Right. Collared shirts are great. Collared shirts? Collared shirts. Okay. Okay. Um, I like that long sleeve. It's I like long... Nice I think long right? sleeve shirts are very I'll flattering. Yeah. On anybody. I like them too. Okay. You're good. Wait, wait, but see this, have, see this see this sweater? Yeah. This is J. Crew. This is J. Crew? Yeah. yeah. Mm. There you go. That was a solid oh, high five. Authority. So somebody here okay. knows. Nora, I don't like this attitude you're giving me, okay? <laughs> Listen. Right? He hasn't even raised his voice in the last ten minutes because he's known he has this J. Crew on. Yeah. He knows where he stands. Should we wrap it up, guys? Let's just keep going. Yeah. I have no friends, so this is really good <laughs> when I get to talk to people. I never get to talk She's to people. She's going to have separation anxiety when she leaves here. For not having any friends, you're a good talker. You've practiced on somebody. The cats, mostly. Oh, yeah. Lou's the only one to listen? Lou's the only one. Yeah. Is Nora short for anything, or is it just a... Uh... No. I like I like the name Nora. Four letters. Rolls off the tongue. Rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Easy you to remember. You guys want to guess my middle name? Oh, okay. Starts with a G. <laughs> no. uh, let me think about uh, this. G-I. Gilbert. Gilbert. <laughs> yeah. G I L D. Gild Gildred. Gildred? Gild. Is Gildy. it a real word? 
Are you making uh, this is up? Is it a real? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Jilda. Jilda? Jilda. <laughs> With a G. Nora Gilda. We would have never guessed that. I know. Yeah. Right. That's, why it's funny. No, that's actually not a real Put name. It's <laughs> not a real word. What's your, so Nora Gilda Ves, Vesconcelos? Yeah. Vesconcelos. Wow. Wow. Both, yeah. It's a mouthful. It's a mouthful. Yeah. Wow. Portuguese name? Yeah. Is it common or is it? I like don't know. A, I don't know. It's like, um, it was like my great aunt's name or like my dad's aunt's oh, okay. name, but me and my brother are named after. Th- oh my God. You're drunk. Molly water. I'm fucked up right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, my brother and I were named after the same person, but he got the last name. So he's Davis. <laughs> so we were named after somebody named Nora Davis. Sounds think. like a singer. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Does. She's great. Got she her a couple of her albums. Yeah. yeah. So it's all family. All my right. Own. Yeah. Just family names. No, she's great. Mm. Yeah. It sounds, sounds great. Nora Gilda. Should have gone by Gilda. Well, there is okay. Gilda, but it's Gilda rad. Gilda. Oh yeah, she was so it's this, fucking hilarious. Yeah. So she. I loved her. She's rad, but yeah. it's the same spelling. It's just I okay. don't know why it's yeah. pronounced. So you could have gone by Gilda. Yeah. yeah. Gilda, Gilda, tomato, tomato. Everybody, everybody who I say is like it's Gilda. They're like, no, it's Gilda. I'm like, you're Thanks. right. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you watch um like Curb Enthusiasm or anything? No, no? I haven't seen that. Oh I know. There's goodness. a lot of stuff I've like missed Nora, out on. I know. You're disappointing. Uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of like stuff I like to watch. Can somebody get the rabbit? You want me to find him? Yeah, go get it. Go get oh, it. Oh, he does my bed. He doesn't want me to go in his room. That's the it. issue. Yeah, I don't want to go in his room either. Trust me. You know. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, here's a rabbit. <gasps> my child. Oh. Now, let me ask you a question. Would you would you trade the rabbit in? I mean, would you trade your cat in for a rabbit? No. Okay. Me, a little me bit too jittery, but I appreciate it. I'm did a... you ever have like a hamster when you were younger? Or <laughs> a hamster? Yeah. So I did. A I, had a ham- I had a hamster in Bubba. I have an interesting hamster story. Oh. One time my brother built all these bricks and he like ran one over and like it squished a hamster and the hamster was like seizing. And so my mom had to like put the hamster in a bag and like oh. chop its head off and oh, like geez. it was really sad because we just had a cat that got hit by a car that weekend uh, so we had geez. to go like bury it and we had like a, a shitty <laughs> week right there <laughs> we had like a full pet cemetery way to bring the show down nora sorry yeah. um thanks for coming thank you for having yeah. me yeah did you have fun yes good 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 stuff. and i can't wait to see like what you have coming in the future the thrasher part the you know it's gonna be great don't get your hopes up anyway <laughs> It doesn't want to leave me. I don't think it cares who's holding it. <laughs> <laughs> that is some horseshit. Come back anytime. I would you know? love to. Yeah. It was so fun <laughs> to have you weekly here. Weekly check Okay. Well, maybe not weekly, but, uh, you know, just, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let you know. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> You definitely pinch, pinch manuals. Yeah, I pinch yeah. my manuals yeah. all the time. I like yeah. it in the. Oh, really? Yeah. Look at it. You, you, you get, I pinch you get, my manuals all the time. Man. Yeah. When you, you you have to do that, don't what you? What the fuck are you talking about pinching a manual? You don't. Hey. Oh, time out. Yeah. I'm starting a new team. Are you? Yeah. I heard you starting a company called Lactic. Is yeah. something like that? Yeah. Did you come down here to ask yeah, me yeah, if I wanted to be? A, yeah. I wanted to at, come down and ask you if you want to be pro for Lactic. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not only did you come down here to surprise Ronnie, you came down here to surprise me. Came down here to make you pro for Lactic. Oh wow. Okay. Well. It depends what it is.